Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump straight to this, all right? Pretty excited actually. Uh, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing this uh, portable fridge here. It's a 12 volt fridge, hooks up to your, uh, your car's battery or uh, any other power source you might have, 12 volt outlet, as well as your home 110, 120 volt outlet. All right, and full disclosure, this company did reach out to me so I could do an honest review on it. So it is gonna be 100% unbiased. I'll let you guys know my final thoughts once I review it. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight to it. I'm gonna unbox it for you guys and go over the contents and everything. And then we'll do a temperature test and uh, just see how long it takes to get the temperature. And later on, I'll be doing a video where I take this off-road with me with some contents inside and just see how well it preserves and maintains that temperature while we're actually out in the elements all right guys so let's go ahead and get to it all right so let's go ahead and start unboxing this real quick cut it open all right looks like they did uh package it pretty well nice and sturdy looks like nothing is loosened inside I hate this styrofoam stuff. All right. Okay, pretty simple so far. All right, feels like a fridge. Let's go ahead and take this out of the box real quick. And it's not that heavy. This thing weighs maybe about 35 to 40 pounds. All right, nothing else inside that box. All right, let's go ahead and open it, see what's inside. All right, you do have a, a large compartment and a smaller compartment here. And there is a box, which I'm assuming it's got. It's got the power cord in there. Yep, got the power block here. You got the 12 volts and the extension for the power block. Your instructions. All right, pretty simple, nothing too technical. And it does look like the instructions are in English. Yep, pretty legible for the most part. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, look at the fridge. This is a true dual zone fridge, meaning you could use one side as a freezer, the other side as a fridge, or vice versa, or both freezers or both fridges is up to you, all right, guys? And you do have removable baskets for the inside on both sides. Nice little drain plug down here. All right, so if you guys have stuff that melts or you're cleaning it out, if you have it plugged in for a while, you know, that's a good way to defrost it, right? And uh, the lid is reversible, so you just pull this straight up. You could switch sides on the lid and put it on this side or the other side, how I had it. All right, and I think that's a pretty convenient feature, especially if uh, you're in a rush and you forget to put it in a certain position in your vehicle, right? You know, it's uh, pretty uh, maneuverable. You know, so let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the handle. This is what stood out a lot for me. Uh, you don't see a lot of fridges that come with handles. And this one, it's not just a regular handle to like stow around, but if you need more leverage, this extends out and you could pull it. All right, so you just push these clips back in and you push this back in. All right, so you do have the wheels on it. They do feel like they're uh, nice uh, rubbery material. They're not cheap plastic. All right, and this is your LCD control panel. It's not full touchscreen. You could hear the button click, all right. So you got the power settings, plus and minus, obviously, to set the temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in real quick, and uh, we'll go over the, the, uh, the settings. A little neat feature about this uh, fridge. Not only do you have an option to plug it into a 12 or 24 volt uh, outlet here, but if you have solar panels, you can hook it up directly to your solar panels right there and just use the sun to power this fridge. And later on, I'll show you guys the power consumption of it using my very modest Jackery 160. It does power it pretty well. So uh, we'll go ahead and plug it in real quick. Just plugged it in. Let me go ahead and power this on. All right, so let's see what we could do here. Set it to a certain temperature. We're gonna set the left side here. Oops, sorry, going down the wrong way here. 
I'm gonna set this to the lowest temperature, I believe it's negative four degrees. All right, we're gonna see how fast it takes to get to that desired range. All right, so that's that side. Move on to the other side. There we go. That one's also at negative four. Let's set that one to 15 degrees. All right, it's gonna be set right there. And I do have it on my max setting. All right, so if you see these little grids right here, that's the big freezer, the deep one, and there's a smaller one, all right? So I do have the, the bigger portion here set for freezer and the other one set for fridge. So let's go ahead and get the uh, reading inside. Eighty-three degrees. Eighty-three, closer to eighty-four degrees. All right, guys. So the time is ten o two p.m. Ambient temperature inside my garage sitting at about eighty-one degrees. All right. So let's go ahead and see how long it takes. While we wait for this to get the temperature, I want to show you guys the app. So this is also a Bluetooth-controlled unit which is pretty awesome because sometimes I don't have the patience to mess around with the settings here. I have to click the power button twice, get a witch, witch's tooth or whatever, right? So right here, you could actually control the left and right side settings. If you remember earlier, we did set the uh, left hand side, the bigger side at negative four degrees, and the right side at 15 degrees, all right? You could adjust the temperature here, plus or minus. You could change your uh, units of measurement from Fahrenheit to Celsius, unpair the Bluetooth, lock the unit so that nobody comes and presses the buttons here and also go into eco mode which uh, will help you uh, preserve battery if you're hooked up to a power source that's uh, portable all right and uh, you also have a, a battery protection mode low medium or high if you're hooked up to your car battery that way you won't have uh, trouble starting it you know but that's never recommended it's always recommended you have your own portable uh, power source away from your car's battery if you don't have a secondary battery just to run your camping appliances all right, guys, so the app did tell me or show me that uh, the right side reached the uh, temperature I'd set it for, 15 degrees. Meanwhile, the left side is still trying to reach it. It's at 16 degrees, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, check the inside real quick. Measure with my little uh, gun here. All right, so just measured the floor here. Reached 22 degrees. The walls is where the coals are located, so it'll naturally be a lot colder. 10 degrees there. Eight, nine, all right, varies, right? And let's see the deep side. Ooh, it does feel nice and cold in here. 16 degrees, 17. All right, so I don't know if uh, might be this that's off or the actual temperature sensor inside of this, but I mean, it feels pretty cold. I feel confident that this will keep uh, food at temperatures it needs to so it doesn't go bad while you're out on the road or on the trails, all right? And I did want to point out another thing from earlier. You do get a nice little cutting board here. Check it out. And you can put that up top here. You know, it is pretty small, so you know, I just use it for like small fish or something or small cuts of meat, right? And you have your cup holders right here. They're not much cup holders, but more place holders so they don't slide away, all right, guys? So it's, uh, I don't know, it's a pretty handy feature to have to use your fridge, right? Double as a little chopping table. Use this. back all right so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab an ice pop and I'm gonna put it inside of this uh, freezer in the freezer portion and I want to see just how uh, how well it maintains that temperature all right so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that oh and for the record it is 11 29 p.m. all right and we did set this at 10 2 p.m. so just to give you an estimate of it going from about 80 degrees to uh, the current temperature set right now all right so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that ice pop real quick and i'll see you guys in the morning all right guys so it's the next day we're gonna go ahead and check on this real quick so it does say temperatures at negative four in the big one and 18 degrees on the uh, smaller fridge here smaller side so here's the ice pop i threw in there yesterday and it is pretty hard check it out all right frozen solid you know, so as of right now, I have no doubt this thing will do awesome outdoors. Check it out, there's the noise it makes. It's very quiet. 
so it's not gonna be getting in the way if you're uh, having it next to your tent or something or inside your vehicle while you're sleeping on the inside of the car, not in a rooftop tent. So it's a huge plus. Well, I decided to experiment a little here with the uh, solar panel and try to hook this up directly to the solar panel. But I guess it doesn't meet the minimum wattage to be able to power the whole unit, right? It's only the LCD screen that turns on. It's a little bit of sun right now. So what I did instead, I hooked up my Jackery 160 to my 100 watt solar panel and I'm charging this while at the same time this is providing power to the fridge unit itself. And you can see I have 63 watts going in for the charge and it's consuming between 39 to 40 watts, 42 watts. You know, it alternates. So uh, we'll see how long we could push this. All right, guys, I just checked on the cooler earlier and I have some pretty cool news. I'm excited at least. So earlier I was at about 76%. And uh, this is a 100 watt uh, portable station, right? Power station. I do have it hooked up to the solar panel going into uh, the Jackery to charge it while this provides power to this, to the unit. And it looks like my battery percentage is actually going up. So if you guys have this set up at camp or wherever you're at with a solar panel, you'll still actually be able to power the fridge and have this charge so when nighttime comes we need to charge any devices you might have you know you'll still be able to reliably use this without having to worry about this being completely drained because of the fridge so that's a huge plus as for the temperature inside i don't know if you can see it there but the freezer is at 13 degrees and the fridge part is at 20. you know it's uh definitely not what i had set it to but considering the temperatures out here you know we are about 90 degrees out right now my garage interior temperature is sitting at just above 80. All right, so just keep that into consideration, all right? So I don't know if all you guys will keep this out in the sun when you're using it. I'm sure if you have it in the shade somewhere, it's gonna maintain a lot cooler temperatures and it is an eco mode as well. If you put it in high mode, you're probably consuming more energy and your possibility of draining the battery will be higher. All right, so, so far so good. Big brain time. I just had an idea. I'm gonna do the ice cream test, all right? So I'm gonna leave this cooler out here, hooked up to the jacker and a solar panel, and we will see if the consistency of the ice cream, hold on, let me open this, maintains itself. Oh man, they switch spoons. Or they use the same spoon. Oh wow. Well. Anyways, we'll see if that consistency maintains itself in the freezer setting, all right? So I'm gonna give it a few hours out here. And if it doesn't, Unfortunately, I cannot use this as ice cream and it looks like I'll be drinking a vanilla malt shake later. So there we go. All right, guys, it's been about one hour. I'm gonna go ahead and get the ice cream out of that fridge right there and uh, see, hopefully it's not melted. There you are, look at you. All right, it doesn't feel. Like it's uh, melted. Let's find out. I'll put you guys down real quick and do a taste test. Oh, look at that. No signs of melting whatsoever. Bam. Let's see. Oh, still feel the, uh, the resistance there. See, it's not sloppy at all. Mmm. Wow. Just one bite, that's it. I don't want to contaminate that. But man, that little cooler is impressing me so far. Oh, there you have it. This little fridge right here, man, it exceeded my expectations, okay? Pretty awesome. The best part is the price. You know, when you're comparing it to an ARB fridge, Dometic, you know, those are like $1,000 plus. This is only $549 on their website before taxes and shipping. All right, so uh, I'm really impressed with it. You guys saw the ice cream test I did outside. You know, it's almost, you know, like it's like mid 90s out here right now. And I was really expecting the ice cream to start losing its uh, ice cream consistency and turn more into a malt shake, right? But to my surprise, it actually withheld its uh, consistency, tasted it, was still nice and sturdy inside. 
you know and uh, the craftsmanship with this little cooler i mean it doesn't feel like it's made out of chinese or anything it's actually pretty good stuff you know it's not going to be like hardcore rugged type feeling but compared to other coolers that you see in the store or whatnot you know it's got like a cooler material with the fridge internal right so uh yeah guys um, i'm gonna be reviewing this later on when i take it on trips with me and i'm obviously not gonna have it out in the sun like i did today right it's gonna be plugged in with shade or something so i'm expecting the temperatures to actually be lower than they were today although i did have them set to negative four degrees they were maintained to by around uh 14 degrees or so which is still below freezing right it's still good to maintain ice cream temperatures or anything that requires freezing now i don't know how much stuff that requires freezing i'm gonna take with me camping normally I just keep stuff that requires refrigeration but uh for the purpose of just being on the safe side keeping everything nice and cold i'm pretty sure i'll probably just keep it on the freezer setting uh for every trip all right except for the little one the little compartment i'll definitely leave that there for uh fridge settings for water bottles drinks and whatnot you know so um, i'm excited to show you guys future videos on this guys uh, again go ahead go ahead and check out uh, these guys at bodega coolers uh, they have a lot of stuff there you could also add a detachable battery to this i didn't get the battery they didn't send it to me they just sent me the freezer or the cooler whatever you want to call it you know but yeah pretty impressed so far guys all right stay tuned for the next one thanks